Hey there, YouTube friends. Steve here. Today I'm going to demo the TC Electronics Ditto Looper that I have right here. Let's get right to it. All right, before I hook it up and let you listen to it, let's take a quick look at it. This is the Ditto Looper by TC Electronics. As you can see, it's extremely small, and to go along with its small size, it's extremely easy to use. We have a uh, knob here to control the level of the loop. A little light to tell you what mode you're in. Obviously one switch to put you in playback, record, or stop. You have your input, you have your output, you have a USB port for your computer so you can get firmware updates, and you also need to hook this up to a 9 volt power adapter. Uh, you can't run this on batteries or anything like that. You need a 9 volt power supply. The case is die cast metal, nice and sturdy, and um, that's about all I can tell you about it. So let's get to it and listen to it right now. All right, it goes without saying, the most important thing about using a looper is being able to find the one. You know, if, you, if you're slightly off the one, it, the loop isn't going to sound right. So let's just start with that. Um, as far as working the looper right here, press it once and you're in record mode. Press it once again, you're in play mode. Press it once, you're going to overdub. Um, if you press and hold it, you're going to undo. If you press and hold it again, you're going to redo. You press it twice quickly it's going to stop and if you press it and hold it down it's going to clear the loop so let me uh show you real quick i'm going to play a little blues thing and we're going to start the loop so we're going to find one two three four we're going to one two three four stopped if I want to play it again I'm going to hit it once if I want to clear it out press it twice and hold it and now I just cleared the loop okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to play that blues lick right there four bars I'll loop it and then we'll add a layer to it back in by holding the button down. There it is in, again. So you can pull the layers in and out. I'll add another layer. First I'll do a little solo over it. See, the 
phrase didn't finish. So as soon as you hit that switch, it doesn't stop it. It's like a little lag, it's like a measure. See what I'm talking about? So you have to do a little thinking when you're when you're using this. I'll double click it to stop it. So there you have it. Now, let me give you my opinion on it. As far as the Ditto Looper goes, extremely easy to use, extremely small. Uh, it's probably the cheapest one you could find on the market. It's great for uh, practicing at home on your own. If you're practicing solos, you're trying to develop song ideas, it's a great tool to have. If you're a solo artist and you're going out and gigging, sure, you could use this to a certain extent. Um, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. You might have to think about what you're doing while you're using it before you go out and actually use it. Plan out all the layers you're going to build and when you're going to pull them out and how you're going to pull them out. But uh, it's a great product. I uh, like it. I use it at home. And uh, hope the review was good for you. And uh, please subscribe. I'll catch you next time. All the best. Peace.